Hello and welcome to Glen ZB TV, the show that puts Glen ZB into your virtual headset. Yes, I'm bringing New Zealand to the world and the world <laughs> to New Zealand. I always think I'm doing a good job with the silly arm movements if I can make myself giggle. I don't know why that's a measurement of... Anyway, moving on. Uh, so, uh, turns out... Uh, when you're discussing major bridge collapses, uh, you need a guy who's like a civil engineering expert. Um, so you get um, you get this guy, uh, Mark Hansford, on. He knows all about it because he's the editor of the new civil engineer. Um, so that, and I thought, what's what is that? It turns out that that's a magazine for civil engineers. They've got a big story on hot hubs this month in the August August 2018 edition. I don't know if I'm subscribing. What's your centerfold in the new civil civil engineer? I don't know. We've got a story about Muscat's iconic airport in there as as well. Oh yeah, it's all in the new civil engineer. Um, so what does uh, Raglan have to do with, with, with rhinos? Uh, so Raglan, it's, it's famous for its surfing, really, isn't it, Raglan? West Coast surf, surf town. But apparently there's a, there's a place that makes drones there as well. Aeronavix, Aeronavix it's called. And uh, they've done a deal with the Tusk and Horn Wildlife Trust to create a drone that helps locate wild rhinos. Um, so there you go. I don't un quite understand. It's surprising on two counts because I, I wouldn't have thought that Raglan was like the centre for drone technology in New Zealand. So that's surprising. I guess it doesn't really matter. But also I would not have thought that Raglan was the place to go for expert rhino knowledge. Um, I'm just looking up the main street of Raglan here. Um, uh, look back down the street. No, can't see. Can't see any rhinos. Can't even see any drones to be to be perfectly honest. So that yeah, that's that's a surprising, surprising story. I've got a big parade. Down south, um, Invercargill City Council is holding a, a ticker tape parade today to honour the Southern Steel Netballers because, of course, they just wrapped up the uh, the national netball competition. Uh, the Southland Sharks Basketballers, which is a team I've not heard of previously, but good on them. They've obviously had great success. And the Southland Cricket Team. All three have won national competitions. So that's, that's, that's great. That's, that's fantastic. Um, here's the here's some members of the they they didn't all fit in this shot because you've got at least twelve people on a cricket team and the coach. Um, that's the South Southland cricket team there. Um, they won this um, trophy. Uh, the interesting thing there is they won that in March. They won that trophy in March, and now they're getting a parade. How long does it take to organise a parade? Did, did they not deserve their own parade? Uh, can they only have a parade if we've got uh, uh, three teams who've achieved national success? Ah, oh, now we've got enough teams for a parade. What's your philosophy there? Finally, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, Modi says India will send a manned flight into space by 2022. So that's inside the next four years, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, they'll become the fourth country after Russia, the United States, and China to put a manned flight into space. Uh, do we have confidence that they can do this? Here's one of their top ten selling cars. Uh, the Tiago. That's an Indian manufactured car. Um, Tata Tiago. I don't know if you've seen, have you seen... I've seen a few of these cars with the T on the front. They're not Teslas, the Tatas. Uh, so, I'm I don't I don't I'm sure that the, that looks like a reliable sort of a car. 
It's not... I don't know if you'd describe it as being a sporty sort of a car. I certainly don't know if you'd describe it as being a space-age car. One can only wonder what their manned spacecraft will look like. I'm interested to see it when it happens. I am Glenn ZB. Thank you so much for... Exceed my expectations. India, go for it. There's your challenge. Uh, thank you so much for having me in your virtual headset. See you back here again tomorrow for more.